hello and i welcome you to my video classes on concrete technology and in this video we are mainly discussing about continuation fault of high performance concrete so in previous video we studied what you mean by high performance concrete and which are the materials used for high performance concrete and behavior in a fresh conditions behavior of the concrete in a hardened conditions right so here in this video we are going for continuation part of high performance concrete and it is video 2 right and myself Vishwanath Avati and um, mainly we are discussing in this video advantages few advantages and few limitations and some applications in a civil engineering field right so now we'll go for advantages so advantages with comparatively normal concrete so how a high performance concrete has a good advantages over a normal concrete and uh, many advantages are there we here we are taken only few advantages and we will study one by one right so first one is reduction in the size of the column if you see the normal concrete right and because of the less durability and because of less strength and performance it may take on the bigger size so because of the good uh, strength and durability uh, even we can make the uh, less size of the column with the same stability or how much is required to carry the load same also you can carry the load with a smaller size because of the characteristics of high performance concrete next is speed of the construction so speed of the construction why it is because it is workability is good and flowing ability filling ability and even segregation is very less so that's what because of the good condition and uh, even it has a uh, like you know fluidity is very good so due to this it has a less uh, hurdles and because of uh, less hurdles and it makes the faster construction activities it reduces the time comparatively so then more economical than steel concrete composite columns so here you have to understand first what you mean by steel concrete composite columns so here two materials are used to prepare the columns so we know what you mean by column column is what it is a vertical member of the building which carries the load right dead load as well as live load but here it is made up of both materials both materials means what it is made up of with concrete as well as steel that's what it is called as a composite column so more economical than steel concrete composite column next workability and high pumping ability we know what you mean by workability of the fresh concrete right it should be a yeah, flow uh, in a good flow flow is required very in a good condition filling ability is also required in a good conditions even it to flow without segregation right so then you can call it as a good workable with the required slump values right so here if you comparatively high performance concrete has a good workability as well as high pumping ability so why we are using a high pumping ability here because even concrete is pumped like uh, even you can see here it is in a pumping machine so here uh, some instruments will be there and um, if you go for high rise building constructions so here we required pumping of concrete like a pumping of water so how water is pumping from ground level to where it is required so similarly concrete is pumped same way but instruments are different right maybe it is the uh, rmc concrete and from that there will be a separate pumping uh, instrument from that it will pump but here all the concrete are not good for pumping if you take the uh, high performance concrete has a good ability of pumping up to 50 floor also after it will go more than 50 floors so next most economical material in terms of time and money so here time is also good with respect to time and money time and money so you should not come separate you should not understand it with separately money is also important as well as time is also important if you take the both consideration of time and money high performance concrete has a very effective method and cost effective of the constructions next is increased rental rentable or useful floor space because of as i told because of small sizes of the structures right and uh, 
workability is good even you can make the good aesthetic appearance as well as you can make good use a uh, utilization of the how much uh, space is available on the floor so even we can use very effectively available sp uh, space of the building high seismic resistance very important requirement of the building is it should has a good resistance for earthquake collapsing of building because some building will may failure because of the high earthquake forces you can take the example of japan right in a japan it will get frequent earthquakes so their buildings will be constructed with a high seismic resistance right and here high seismic resistance means what seismic waves will be generated during the earthquake and that waves may cause the failure of the building so here if you take the high performance concrete it has a good resistance for seismic vibrations or seismic disturbance and it reduces the failure of the building due to seismic failure next is wearing and abrasion resistance it has a good wearing and abrasion abrasion means what removing of so like no uh, cutting up so like no it is uh, uh, if you see some like no uh, stone uh, when you see the stone some part of the stone will be like no cut or it may be it cutted why because it has a abrasion or friction friction between two materials right similarly here also if you take the wind blow or you take some flood situations if, if for example if you constructing the bridge so while constructing the column of the bridge it may get the high velocity waters so due to high velocity water and sand it may cause the wearing, wearing and tearing of the column of the bridge so here if you use the high performance concrete it has a high wearing and abrasion resistance so it is good for hydraulic structures as well as high rise building to resist against the high wind blow right it has a good wearing resistance and abrasion resistance next is durability against the chloride attack so we know what you mean by chloride attack it is one of the chemical attacks right so in the concrete in it may be in hardened concrete and it may causes the like you know, some damages inside the reinforcement it may cause corrosion of the reinforcement so here if you use high performance concrete it has a good Uh, resistance for chloride attack and durability against the chloride attack increase durability in a marine environment so if you use this concrete in a marine condition also marine condition means what in a sea condition or if you see the salt water condition when we are using in a sea even it is it has a good durability in a sea uh, it is what under the underwater construction mainly it is related to underwater construction low shrinkage and high tensile strength low shrinkage it is one of the one of the like no um, <coughs> strength parameters it has a low shrinkage uh, means damages it has a good low shrinkage means good durability as well as high tensile strength so we know tensile strength is comparatively low for concrete but if you take the composite composite of reinforcement and concrete comparatively with the normal concrete it has a high tensile strength next service life more than 100 years as i told if you take the comparison between normal concrete and high performance concrete is even initial uh, cost of the high performance concrete is high but if you take the long term maintenance is less and even it will gives them good uh, condition in up to long term up to 100 years more than 100 year also reduced maintenance cost it has a reduced maintenance cost next limitations so uh, some limitations are there and it all depends on the property and the other different materials but in generally some few limitations are there and mainly limitation is related to expertise expertise in a selection of material preparation of material placing of the concrete and other things mainly attention is required more attention is required and more care is required while preparing and while placing the concrete so we will see one by one first one is high performance concrete has be manufactured and placed much more carefully than the normal concrete so here it is as i told while preparing the concrete and while placing the concrete we have to take more careful if you not take the careful then entire purpose of the use of high performance concrete may failure so that's what if you get, if you want to get a good strength then we have to take more care while preparing as well as while placing the 
कॉन्क्रीट एन एक्सटेंडेड क्वालिटी कंट्रोल इज रिक्वायर्ड एक्सटेंडेड क्वालिटी कंट्रोल इज रिक्वायर्ड एक्सटेंडेड क्वालिटी कंट्रोल इज रिक्वायर्ड मीन्स वॉट फ्रीक्वेंट टेस्ट वी हैव टू मेक एंड टू नो द स्ट्रेंथ एंड इफ इट इज नॉट गेटिंग द स्ट्रेंथ देन वी हैव टू चेक वाई देर इज अ फेल्यूर ऑफ गेटिंग द स्ट्रेंथ सो दैट्स वॉट क्वालिटी कंट्रोल इज रिक्वायर्ड मोर कंपेरेटिवली नॉर्मल कॉन्क्रीट इन कॉन्क्रीट प्लांट एंड एट अ डिलीवरी साइट सी हियर इट इज अ कॉन्क्रीट प्लांट मे बी आर एम सी रेडीमेड मिक्स कॉन्क्रीट एंड एट अ डिलीवरी साइट वेयर कंस्ट्रक्शन इज टेकिंग प्लेस एडिशनल टेस्ट आर रिक्वायर्ड एडिशनल टेस्ट आर रिक्वायर्ड इवन इन प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द कॉन्क्रीट इन वेयर एक्चुअली कॉन्क्रीट इज प्रिपेरिंग देयर ऑल्सो टेस्टिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड एज वेल एज वेयर वी आर मेकिंग द placing of concrete even in site also we have to make the testing of material maybe it is a slump test right in a fresh condition and even uh, preparing the cube cylinders beams to test the different requirements even test as well as preparation or manufacturing of place next same special constitute some special constitutes are required which may not be available in the ready mixed concrete plant so maybe some uh, different materials are required time to time if it is not available then it makes the some of the drawback or it may pro it makes the some problem so some constitutes may not be available in a rmc plant initial cost is high than normal concrete that i told initial cost initial cost means manufacturing cost placing cost it is high but uh, comparatively longer duration is effective but initial cost is very high even it is one of the limitation next is skilled workforce is required as i told it is if you see the limitation 1 2 3 full expertise is required selection of the material is very important and placing of the concrete is also very important for normal laborers it is not possible so that's what skilled workforce is required comparatively with the normal concrete next is some of the applications right almost in uh, most of the places they are using uh, high performance concrete right high strength and superior durability so why because high strength and superior durability characteristics of high performance concrete have already utilized in many structural applications many structural applications not only few which are from categorized or which are noted here but even other places also they are using in various countries some of the following high performance concrete are some of the applications are some right so here we are uh, high performance concrete are used for pavement constructions road constructions and maybe and uh, road constructions mainly they are using high performance concrete because of the good strength next uh, long span bridges so next first one is main preference is pavement and in the pavement again in a long span bridges you can see some of the metro bridges or very which required very long uh, support and because of some requirement so even for long span bridges they are using high performance concrete then high riser buildings high riser you can see here it is high riser building because of good workability and pumping ability and uh, early uh, like you no know, uh, it will get early good strength comparatively so that's what they are using for high riser buildings also next in pre stressed concrete so for example free fabricated for example if you uh, if you take any beams right even beam can be uh, created on the site also even the beam may, will be manufactured at the manufacturing unit and it is transported even at the site also free cost costing will be made so that is what pre stressed concrete in the pre stressed concrete high performance concrete is used mainly it is a free fabricated free fabricated concrete high performance concrete is giving the good result hydraulic structures next is hydraulic structures for construction of power plant hydro power plant or spillways you can see here these are the spillways and mainly they are using for hydraulic structures where high pressure of water will be released and high pressure of water will be stored and even hydro power plant next is tunnel lining you can see here it is a tunnel but at the surface we have to make the tunnel lining right to get a good surface and even it has some supporting material but this is tunnel lining will be done with high performance concrete 
next power plants as i told hydraulic structure in the hydraulic structure even we are using hydro power plant but if you see some other power plants like thermal power plant and nuclear th power plant so even in nuclear power plant and thermal power plant high performance concretes are using so these are the references uh, taken for to prepare this slide and for more information you can uh, go and uh, you can get the more resource in in these two websites right for related to high performance concrete so thank you so much for watching my video